I want to go ahead and I want to talk about um, Joy Behar of The View. Now, yesterday we found out that um, Tim Scott, he announced that he is running for president. He is a black conservative Republican. And I've always said it, guys, the one thing that uh, white liberals do not like, they despise, absolutely despise free thinking black people. They want you to remain on a Democratic plantation. And it's kind of funny, man, because uh, Joy Behar. Um, what is she, Rhodes? Is she a white woman? She's not a black yeah. woman, right? No, she's she's a white lady. Yeah. yeah. Joy, Joy Behar is um of Italian descent. Now, we knew that the view was actually going to go after um, Tim, Tim Scott because Tim Scott, Larry Elder, Clarence Thomas, you know what? They actually believe that hard work can actually allow you to achieve anything. Victimhood will get you nowhere. Look at this. Check this out. Joy Behar lectures Tim Scott and Clarence Thomas on racism in America. In other words, she she believes that um, <laughs> she knows more about being black than they do. They do. Oh. She knows absolutely nothing about being black. Look at this tweet right here. White woman Joy Behar declares that Justice Clarence Thomas and Senator Tim Scott have no clue what it's like to be a black man in America. Quote, they believe in pulling yourself up by your bootstraps rather than understanding the racism that African-Americans face in this country. Now, Rhodes, Clarence Thomas, that was a tremendous documentary about him on uh, the, the Daily Wire. Clarence Thomas well, ha- grew up. I haven't poor. seen it. I haven't seen it. This came out like two years ago. Oh, okay. He grew up poor. He had to use an outhouse. Did his circumstances prevent him from still applying himself? And you know, he actually was a hard lefty at one point, you know, similar to uh, Thomas Sowell. He made it. Tim Scott made it. Larry Elder made it. But Joy Behar wants you to believe, now nah, don't listen to them. If you're black, you're a victim. Let us not forget the story the great, late, great Herman Cain told yep. on the documentary Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. Yeah, I know where That's you're right. going. Yeah, what did he was, say, Rose? Oh, man. I mean, I, look. This man said he, 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 w- he wanted to get a job. He wanted to get a promotion. He was working for a company. A couple of guys applied for the same job. And uh, he felt like he should get it. And he was talking to some of his friends. And his friends were telling him, look, man, you didn't get that job because you're black. You didn't get that promotion because you're black. And he was like, huh. He said that really didn't quite set well. So he went around. He asked his boss, look, you know, I felt like I was pretty qualified for that gig i I felt like i was as qualified as the guy what in the world did he have that i didn't have and the boss said well herman the one thing that separated the two of you is he had a master's degree and herman kane took a step back and he said a master's degree okay okay and then he says so i went and got me one of those master's degrees I mean, and then and, he and, came and, back and he said, hey, whenever there's an opening, let me know. <laughs> and guess what? When it happened, he got the job. It was that a was no systemic racism, segment, by the way. Yeah. But let's oh. listen to uh, Joy Behar here. And he's one of these guys who, you know, he's like Clarence Thomas, black Republican who believes in pulling yourself by your bootstraps rather than to me understanding the systemic racism that African Americans face in this country and other minorities. He doesn't get it, neither does uh, Clarence. Right. And that's why they're Republicans. Yeah. (laughs) I I know. (laughs) Amazing. Amazing. (laughs) So Joy Behar believes that, um, that if you're black, you know, you 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 can't believe in hard work. Hard work will get you nowhere. It's systemic racism. Okay. Who's actually on the view roads? 
Isn't oh. Whoopi Goldberg, uh, is she black? Whoopi's on there. Sonny how in the hell, on there. How in the hell did Whoopi Goldberg actually make it to be in a very, very funny movie that um, a lot of people love? She actually won, I believe, an Academy Award, right? Ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, Whoopi Goldberg yeah. is worth millions. Yeah. Was there systemic racism keeping her from actually achieving to get where she's at? She's on The View right now. I don't think systemic racism kept her from um, getting there, right? It didn't hold her back. No, it did. If if anything, one could one could argue that her transition to the view has hurt her a great deal in the public eye. To be honest with you, because I think a lot of people years and years and years ago liked Whoopi at one point. Yeah, you know, she came across as likable, and then you know, kind of a curtain got peeled back once she joined the view, and you were like. Wow, she's kind of a lunatic, and yeah. I didn't even know it. Gotcha. I don't think anybody ever refused to watch Sister. I can say, wait a minute. I'm not watching that movie. There's a Negro in that movie. I ain't watching that movie. Nobody's ever said that. Nobody. <laughs> this is ridiculous, that's a, man. That's never crossed my mind. <laughs> For a single solitary thing that yeah. I was trying to, uh, no, everybody, not do it. everybody loves watching Morgan Freeman in movies. It has nothing to do with him being black; he's just a damn good actor. But Joy Behar believes that black people, you know what? It's the system. Now, Rhodes, yo, systemic racism. Mm. These systems. Who's in charge of the White House? Yeah. Um, D- Democrats, right? Dem- Democrats, that's right. Who's in that's charge right. of the Senate, right? Democrats. Democrats. Who is running um, Illinois? Democrats. Democrats. Who is New running York? Chicago? Democrats. Democrats. Who is running New York State? Democrats. Democrats. Who is yeah. running New York City? Democrats. Who is running California? Democrats. Who is running L.A. Democrats. Right. Every time you hear about systemic racism and a lot of black people live around places run by Democrats. What is the common thing? Democrats. Well, you see. They're playing the angle of if we can offer people of color. A little extra bread, a little way to. To, to get ahead if we can look you can't the republicans are holding you back you need our assistance to make it in life then they believe they keep a voter they keep a voter in other words let's make sure they have the perception that they've got to have us in order to make it you can't you the dirty people little, need dirty, us the dirty little secret is uh they don't want you knowing about clarence thomas or Larry Elder, or Herman Cain, or all these other folks that, well, like any other, other American, if you apply yourself and work hard, you succeed. Doesn't matter what color you are, you succeed. Yep. That's the way it works. You, you want to oh, know well, something? I, I, don't I don't make enough money. I work two jobs. I got enough money all of a sudden. That's a thing. Let me yeah. tell you a story, man. Let me tell you a story. My best friend. I didn't grow up with a lot of money. But he was way poorer than me. Way poor. Didn't have his father around. Had his mom, but he lived with his grandmother. It was a rough life for him. Guess what? We're best friends. We start doing band together in um in middle school. Band in high school. He goes to college on a band scholarship. Graduates from college. Guess what? He gets married. He has kids. He is the man over there in Lake Charles doing what he does. Guess what happened this past weekend? His daughter graduated high school, summa cum laude, and now is about to go to college at the University of Lafayette, Louisiana. But it's it's my understanding. But the that's system gotta be, is that's, that's got to be a lie, John. You You've you know got to be told lying me? right you, now. You know what he told me? He said, you know what? He said, we raised that kid right. We raised our kid right. 
that is the reason why she graduated summa cum laude. We didn't graduate summa cum laude. I mean, we graduated as Texas scholars. I mean, we weren't dummies, but we weren't even close to being summa cum laude. And guess what? He didn't raise his kid to believe the system is holding you back. And look, if there really is this systemic racism. And he's black, by the way. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't one Barack Hussein Obama, wasn't he in office for like eight years? Yeah. What? If that was such an issue, how? number one, how come I didn't he, hear it? He him? won his well, elections well, pretty easy. Sure did. Sure did. And, and not only that, but he was the president of the United States. I would say that's an odd way of looking and being oppressed is to make it to what's supposed to be the most esteemed position in all of the world. Right. He's black, right? He is black, right? He, he uh, is correct black. Me. Okay. He, he is black. Funny. Interesting. But Joy okay. Behar does not want you black people to believe that you can make it by applying yourself. The system is holding you back. Because the system doesn't want black people to succeed. That is what she wants you to believe. That is a complete and utter lie. A lie. Look at um, Dr. Ben Car Carson is another one, too. Yeah. Ben Carson. Yeah. Probably the best brain surgeon surgeon on the planet. Black man. They don't like him either. Because. You can't sell victimhood to these people. That's why jo Joy Behar doesn't like her, like them. To quote my boys, the Hodge twins, now they're stringing Democrat voters along, black Democrat voters along with the promise of reparations. That's right. That's the you new ain't thing. getting no reparations. That's the new thing to. Yeah. Because Master Gavin Newsom said he ain't he don't believe in no. No cash reparations. Try to reel you in, land you in on, that, on that, the new that was thing. A, Gavin Newsom, Democrat, by the way, say you ain't getting no cash reparations. We ain't giving reparations. It's a <laughs> virtue rem signal. <laughs> that reminds me of the old guy in the commercial that was holding the fishing rod, and he's like, oh, you almost got it. You almost got it. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Son boy. I mean. Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's a super funny um, commercial. Yeah, super and, funny. And and look, I I I'm never gonna let an opportunity to go by and and not remember what Malcolm X once said about the white liberal. <laughs> yep, he said that um, the white conservative and the white liberal they both want to come off as friends to black people, but however, you better be careful with that light white liberal because the white liberal is the most racist person out there. That's what he said. Not those exact words, but that's what he said.